Robert Walker, and in the end of the month, I'll be 80 years old. 80 years old? How does that feel? An octogenarian. I finally reached being an octogenarian. And what does that feel like? What is it? What is the diff? What, I feel what, I've accomplished something. I've lived a life where I've managed to live this long. And I'm not unhappy about it. Are you scared of anything? No. Nothing? No. Less scared than I was when I was 20. Are you looking forward to things? Yes. Like what? what what's coming up, which I don't know. So instead of being scared of it, I'm eager for it now. I want to, I want to see what will happen. How does this period in your life compare to other periods, other ages? What's the, what do you say is the most startling difference or exciting difference or sad difference? Are you, are you speaking of outside of myself or myself? Just your whole experience of life. I mean, your, your experience of life today. Because you don't mean, I've known you a long time. You don't look that much older. So, I mean, just, and you seem, I mean, you're remarkably good. Look at you. You're remark you're fit. You're like not some old man. Look at you here in your cargoes. I mean, what's, what's your secret? I don't have any secret. I just, I think the only thing I feel is that you have to wake up in the morning and love your life. Not because it has anything or because you don't have anything because it's just what what he is to just be alive is a wonderful wonderful thing what do you say to people who wake up and they say I don't have this I didn't accomplish that I'm not as rich as I want to be or powerful as I want to be or I'm alone or I'm my hips hurt or I I'm not as desirable sexually as I once was. What do you say to those people who wake up with that on their plate with their coffee? Well, I think that, uh, you know, they're living in the past. They're using the experiences of the past for now. And now is totally new. You never had this moment. It's totally new. So why don't you just approach it in that new way? I mean, you know, you don't have any money in your pocket right now. Okay? There's a possibility that you'll have money tomorrow, but you don't know that. So you just have to keep that in mind, that everything is changing. It's never going to be the same. This moment is not going to be like next moment. So be in this moment. What do you think is the biggest mistake octogenarians make? Feeling why... sorry for themselves. Do you see this a lot? Yeah. Like how? Say that again. I mean, like, how do they feel sorry? What, what, how do they feel no, sorry? They're living in the past. They want, they want to try to go back. They want to be, you know, 20, 30, 40 again. They want to feel differently. Um, they want the circumstances of their life to be different or the same as it was before. So, but it's never going to be that way. So why do we hang on to it? We don't need to. We can't. Are you afraid of death? No. It's another thing to look forward to. I mean, think of what it will be. I mean, we don't know what it's going to be. And that's the great joy of it, to, to think, oh, I don't know that, so I'm going to learn a new experience. Do you work? Yes. Can't stop working. Is your work as exciting to you today as it was back in uh, other times of your life? Well, only because I'm changing it now. I'm changing the way I approach it and the work I'm doing. I'm no longer going to be the mural painter who's told what, to, what they want. I'm now going to be Robert Walker who's going to try to do what he wants. Do you think age has something to do with that choice? If you're lucky. I happen to be lucky enough to be able to do that. So you think people who haven't accomplished what they've wanted to are the ones who look back with regret? Um, say that again. I guess we were, we were just interrupted by this gentleman with a wonder what time it was. Um, <laughs> a New York moment. Do you think people that look back with regret are people, I mean, who haven't lived the lives they've wanted, that they're holding on to that? And that you can go, in the way that you were saying, you're going forth with this new enthusiasm and every day is a new day, a new experience. I mean, like, what if you don't like the experience you're in? That's, that's I guess, Change the it. If you don't like where you are, you mean, if you're in a marriage that you don't like, leave it. At 80? Even at 80. I mean, the thing is that it's all, all of our existence, as far as I can tell, is maybe 90% of it is based on fear of something. And, and we don't have to be afraid. 
and, and usually the only reason we don't have to be afraid is because it changes. What you fear right now isn't you're not going to maybe in a fear in five minutes or five months or five years. And and to think that it's it's going to go on forever, it's not. Nothing goes on forever. What did the Buddha say? You know, nothing lasts. So three pieces of advice for those people out there who are shaking in their 80-year-old boots. Use your mind. Love yourself. Love who you are. And, and, and forgive yourself. We lost that one. Whatever we shoot outside New York. For, what was the last one? I think that was really important. I think you have to forgive yourself. For? Oh, whatever you think you, you, you didn't do or you didn't have. And how about forgiving others? Oh, of course. That once you forgive yourself, you're able to forgive others.